Hello, my friend. Right when I was about to tell you, my neighbor knocked on the door and just brought over these flowers. What? What? Those are so beautiful. Let me just rewind. Yesterday, I sit down in the backyard. I'm waiting for my test results to come in because I retested my progesterone. One of my two biggest goals were to get my temperatures up in my luteal phase. So my basal body temperatures, I wear my armband. And second of all, is to see my serum progesterone be over an eight. So an eight is like a healthy ovulation, nice strong ovulation, and I have never been able to get to an eight. I have never been able to get to an eight. I have literally been at a one or under a one, honestly, since I was like 18 or younger. And I was hovering at a seven. So that was even huge progress in and of itself. Like I was so happy to be at like a 7.2, 7.4 but I was like, I can't break over an eight. And that's where I really wanted to get. So yesterday I got my progesterone levels back and they were at a 9.4. I, I, I feel like that is like the biggest update that I have had in such a long time. I was so excited to share because, because if I being in the position and the place that I was in for so long, if I can do this, I am just so excited and confident to share every single thing, and I have been sharing every single thing, but if there is one thing that I am more confident than ever before with anything that I have ever learned about hormones, health, you name it, the one thing that I'm like, this works, is focusing on the cell. It works, it works. Everybody is ultimately going to have different things that their cells need. Like for me, when I found out about the mold and I've been really targeting the mold, that is absolutely what is contributing to that progesterone, but also vitamin C and sunlight and adequate protein and adequate potassium and adequate magnesium. There's so many things that our cells need, but what I will say is that there are certain fundamental things that just don't change. And when I really started focusing on those fundamental things like even this last couple months i really i'll tell you this i'll tell you the few things i really focused on the past couple months that i feel like have made the biggest difference number one is sunlight i literally every single day getting up and watching the sunrise i did not miss a day i got up this morning and watched the sunrise it's very important for hormone production so that's the first thing that i did every single day that i really made a big difference with and when i got pregnant with our baby star I was doing sunrise walks every single day. Number two is potassium. Literally, I am telling you, when I focused on getting 4,700 milligrams of potassium, I was doing two elements a day. Like I was like, whatever it takes to get my potassium up and to get my 4,700 milligrams, even right now my hands are so warm, the sodium potassium pump is responsible for at least, at least, so really, 25% of our metabolic rate. So that is one fourth, but now they're thinking it's up to 60. Who even knows? Because every cell has a sodium potassium. Every single cell has a sodium potassium pump. They're, not one cell doesn't have it. So that means that when we give the cell what it needs, sodium potassium to make the pump work correctly, it's going, our metabolic, our metabolic rate is going to change, which is why you feel warmer because one of what the thyroid does on a cellular level is make more sodium potassium pumps. That's how the thyroid is metabolic. That is what it does is it makes more of those pumps. So if we really think about that, 
and we can give our bodies the, the, the basic minerals that it requires every single day because that's the thing. We use them. We burn through them. It's just like food. Think about minerals like your food. Every day you you got to get up and you got to eat the same you got to eat your, you know, protein. You have to eat your carbohydrate. You have to refuel and re-nourish your body. And I think a lot of times for me, I always felt like I didn't really with it, it's the same thing with minerals. And so for me, when I started focusing on minerals every single day but getting enough of them and that's the key and that's the tricky thing and it is a bit it's a lot to do, but that's why I that's why I love like keeping it simple, eating high potassium foods, putting the element in my water, like getting minerals every day in whatever easiest possible way that I can. But I really focused it for this past cycle, like really focused on sodium, potassium, and really just really focused on my potassium. I'm telling you, Minerals will change your life. Like they are changing my life. I am watching my body and my hormones change and it's not because I'm focusing on my hormones. That is the biggest mistake that I did for so long because I just didn't know. You know, you think, well, my progesterone is low so I better focus on my progesterone or take progesterone. I'll tell you this, even when I took progesterone, my progesterone numbers did not change. Without going into all that, I wanted to focus on like, why is my body not, not producing enough of its own progesterone. You know what I mean? I am telling you something. My my temperature just during the day, it used to be at like 96, like in the, hovering in the 96s. I was so freezing cold, so freezing cold all the time. I've really been able to shift that, but I've never felt like super warm. Like I wasn't feeling cold anymore, but this past month, my hands are warm. They are like warm warm like ovens like little little like they're warm and i just i cannot believe that and i'm 100 percent attributing that to the sodium potassium pump and getting enough potassium i cannot believe my eyes when i saw that number let me just make my little progesterone progesterone mocktail if you will my little progesterone cocktail is what i called it because i really focused on that in the past couple of th this past cycle like more than ever before and i was having it like sometimes like two times a day like i'm serious i was like multiple multiple times a day i was getting my sodium and potassium and i was getting in my osterol the cherry and getting in my vitamin c and that's the thing i'm gonna make it for you right now i'm gonna literally drink it right now because it is the one thing that i did every single day make sure i got enough potassium and sodium and magnesium and make sure that i got my vitamin c for progesterone production both of those two things and i'm, and I'm just saying what i've done differently so like foundationally you know I get up, I have enough protein and fiber every day. I'm focusing on prebiotics, blood sugar regulation, all the things I've previously talked about. So that's the thing, all those things improved so massively and now it's just improving even more. And that's why I'm sharing with you this with you because focusing on the cell works. And what is this doing? What is my little progesterone, little mocktail doing? It's giving the cell what it literally needs. It gives it sodium, potassium, magnesium, and a major, major nutrient, which is vitamin C. So that is affecting the health of the cells, which somebody said in the comments recently, I literally love you so much. She said, I literally try to quote it and memorize it when you say healthy cells, make healthy tissues, make healthy organs, make a healthy organ system, make a healthy organism. But it really is so true when I have focused not on my progesterone production, but on the health of my cells with minerals and nutrients and all the things that I talk about really just comes down to protecting the cell and providing it nutrients. Anyway, I will tell you, it works. Let's make my progesterone boosting mocktail. I have never been so grateful to share what has helped me because more than anything, more than I care even about helping myself, like if I can help one of you, I, it brings more joy to my heart than literally anything else. When I see, like, I just can't say it enough. You can probably see it on my face, but like that is why I will always share about healthy cells and I will always remind you that it doesn't have to be as hard as maybe it has been feeling for so long and it doesn't have to be as overwhelming as maybe it's been feeling for you for so long at least for me it was so overwhelming for so long and 
to be able to say like what a difference something so small something so small as to just getting enough minerals i will share it because to me it's not about the cells it's not about the minerals it's about you and it's about your dreams and the desires that are in your heart and it is that is what it is about it's i i just really care about you so much so okay let's make my progesterone punch that's what i'm gonna call it progesterone punch i think that's a punchy name i think it's a punchy fun title so of course we have a packet of element this is essential with the sodium potassium and magnesium that literally is going to give your cells <coughs> I always get that little <laughs> where I inhale it. The grapefruit flavor is my favorite. I love the grapefruit so much. And they have everything that you need in here and nothing that you don't. So there's no artificial flavors, dyes, anything like that. It's just like the purest of the pure. It is actually the grapefruit itself that they source the flavor from. So this is the best and my favorite electrolytes ever. So this is essential for our little progesterone punch. You can go to drinkelement.com slash Cambria and with your purchase, you're gonna get to try out all the sample packs so you can figure out what your favorite flavor is. Element is my absolute favorite for it. So link will be in the description for that. And then you need to add in your vitamin C. So I like the perfect supplements, Osterola Cherry, or you could do, I use the Pure Synergy, Pure Radiant C. Both of these have the Osterola Cherry in there. And so this one's just pure Osterola Cherry. This one has like Camu Camu, other Osterola Cherries. Like there's just a few different ones in here. So you're gonna add a big like heaping teaspoon, like a generous, generous amount of that goes in there. And then this is where you can add your coconut water or uh, even coconut powder. So anything that's like really easy, this is literally just pure 100% coconut water powder. So just more potassium in there. This is optional, but again, it's so easy to just throw some coconut water in there. I'm out of coconut water right now. So again, the powder is just super easy, but just splash some coconut water in there and you are literally good to go. That is my progesterone punch. Literally so good. And I am telling you, I have this like a couple times a day. You have your minerals, you have your vitamin C, and you have the progesterone punch. And let me tell you, this packs a punch. If you have never been convinced on minerals before, let me just tell you that they, they have continued to change my life. Now we need to go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna make a little snack. I just got in this new cereal. I've never had the maple sea salt flavor from Seven Sundays before, but I'm gonna make a little protein cereal. This apparently has, look at that, five grams of protein. So I'm gonna add some whole milk and then I'm gonna add a scoop of protein powder to my milk. And we're gonna have a nice little protein snack because I really need to go get some groceries for lunch. So, but. I need a little snack before we go, so let's go to Trader Joe's and let's just hang out for the rest of the day. What a fun update. It's already time for dinner. I took a nap. I don't remember the last time I took a nap, but I just sat down on the couch, I was like, Little snap sounds good. An hour later. So my protein cereal was my lunch because it's time to make dinner right now. That's just, yeah, that's just today. Let me show you, I'm gonna show you what I, oh, I'm gonna show you what I got from Trader Joe's. So here we go. Little Trader Joe's haul, I feel like it's been a while. I got some fresh basil. I'm gonna make this delicious chicken tonight, which is like these chicken thighs that have, oh, they're just so good, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make dinner with you. More blackberries for our fiber. Sweet red cherries are so good for your gut and just really good to eat seasonally. And like when you when you eat foods that you don't normally eat, it's really good for your microbiome. We have some raspberries. This is my secret to getting enough fiber. Raspberries are my secret. And then I got these. These are also an amazing way to get vitamin C and potassium and fiber. The Sun Gold Organic Kiwi. I love these little things. I think that they're amazing. And then tonight I got the heirloom tomatoes we have our basil tomato so good i'm going to show you how to make the best tasting chicken it's delicious for that we also needed some sweet onions and then i got some orange juice to make another a little hydration drink because i have an idea of doing it with the orange element so i really want to actually might make it tonight i got some turkey breasts for making sandwiches with my new gluten-free sourdough that i love i thought that'd be so easy to just i'm like why don't i ever make a sandwich for lunch like that's just the easiest thing to do ever so 
some more organic turkey. And then I also, I did not realize, or I guess I re-remembered, this has seven grams of protein in these. This is the Trader Joe's New Zealand grass-fed cheese. So this is amazing. The fact that it has seven grams of protein, that's a lot of protein. Also had to get my raw Argentinian, is it Argentinian? My raw wild caught red shrimp. This is the best shrimp ever. We haven't had it in a while and I have been doing seafood three to four times a week. And then I picked up some more celery. This is what I'm really excited. I need to set you down so that we can just try this really quick. Okay, blueberry elderflower. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a Trader Joe's taste test, but they, this was the last one and this is new. So cheers. It looks pretty cute. It's like very purple. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. Surprisingly, it's not as sweet as I would have anticipated. I mean, they definitely add sugar into it, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not too sugary, you know what I mean? That's very well balanced. I feel like you can really taste the, the elderflower. Okay, that's actually very good. I wanna try to recreate this, but look how cute that bottle is. I feel like they just do such a cute job. Here's our new little Trader Joe's drink. Last but not least, I got asparagus. I refilled our onion salt. This is really good. I love their onion salt. I love this too. I love this pineapple salsa. I haven't had it in so long and I was just craving it. It just sounds so good for summer, you know? And then last but not least, I picked up some limes. Very hydrating, lots of minerals. So some organic limes, but let's make some dinner. Good boy, Meester. Oh my gosh, my initial results are in for my EV test. What's an EV? That's my microbiome, my vaginal microbiome. Shaking in my boots. No detected candida. The prelim results look very good. I am pumped on that. Okay, all right, my eyes are watering. Into the pan it goes. Oh, you already have a fork. How is it, honey? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. This is so good. This is one of my, oh, my mouth is watering. It's one of my favorite dishes. This looks amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is actually, that is to live for. Mm. I think you said that's to die for. I'm trying to say that that's- the same? It's, I'm trying to say, you know, that's to live for. It just seems nicer. Mm, yeah. This is great. This is great. It's perfect. The flavor is literally perfect, huh? You make the sauce from scratch? Mm-hmm. Scratch. Wow. It's really good with a little tiny star pasta, huh? Mm-hmm. A little star pasta. I totally forgot to tell you. So you know how yesterday I got my progesterone numbers back? And I'm yeah. telling you too. So I go before I go to bed and I open up a devotional I haven't read in so long. I just felt like reading it. I am not even, I am literally not even kidding you. I open it up and it's like titled Flourish. And I was like, and then I read the whole thing. It's all about the palm trees flourishing. The righteous shall flourish, like the, the whole thing. I was like, really? I was so, yeah, I have to, I have to read it to you. It's insane. It's kind of like yeah. the, the day we were walking and we were palm trees. Yeah, I remember that day we were learning about them. Yeah. How they produce fruit in their old age. I didn't know that. Literally the, the way to flourish. Well, that's what it's called. Pause for a moment, take a deep breath, allow your shoulders to relax and be still. Let the fall. <laughs> Let the following words reach into your heart and mind. The righteous shall flourish as the palm tree. Palm trees live long, dear one. Many species live over a hundred years. The palm tree flourishes happily producing fruit in its season and is a source of beauty to the world, which I literally just talked about beauty in my last video on my morning routine, I literally was talking about beauty and how God created us for beauty. My child, you are beautiful to me as your days are in my hands. Take another breath as you bring the word flourish into your heart and mind. Now gently and sweetly close your eyes and believe today flourish. Oh, I've never read this one. Well, I have, but I have never. Psalm 72, seven, 
in his days the the righteous shall flourish and abundance of peace until the moon is no more psalm 72 7. Mm. wow nourished i flourish this literally imagine if you didn't if you had went there got your 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 uh, test back mm -hmm. but then it comes from a heart that you have of just seeking them you know mm -hmm. like you could have just got your test backs laid back in bed and just yeah slept you know went, yeah. went to bed yeah but and you're in your heart you you have a heart that seeks him yeah but i missed it yeah 10 out of 10. Mm. coming at you live with my blue light blockers i'm gonna do my magnesium oh that's what i was gonna say too i forgot to let you know so earlier when i was talking to you about the minerals and like the, the little progesterone punch i learned from this doctor who specializes in magnesium who's like one of the most brilliant she's written books on magnesium so she said the best way to take magnesium is in a powder or liquid form in water and i was like okay literally perfect so element is obviously powder form so i was like check that's amazing but then also i do but i've shared this before that i make my own magnesium and if you can kind of see the white on the bottom that's the magnesium that i add into this and then it becomes a very highly absorbable form of magnesium so i usually like to top off the night with a little splash of this my blue light blockers i have been on it you guys with my with my circadian health so i've been doing and that's the thing i feel like for so long i went back and forth on blue light glasses because i was like well the thing is is your body is still absorbing different like it, your body is so brilliant like just wearing the blue blockers i'm like i, I went back and forth on them in a while because for a while because i'm like you're you're still getting you're you're your body's so brilliant anyway without going into all that but then i started wearing them again and i was like you know i'm just gonna see if i feel better and if it helps me and it helps me it helps me a lot i notice that i fall asleep better and i feel i just feel better really blocking the blue light out at night and i have this light over here actually this is out i'm just running into this so that is actually the proper tone that it's supposed to be on right now but that is like a there's no blue light in that one i'm telling you I was so shocked seeing that progesterone number, the fact that I've never seen that number in my entire life before, and also the fact that like I know that that when I understood that cells are everything, that it's literally everything and I stopped focus on and I stopped focusing on anything else. I stopped focusing on hormones. I stopped fo I stopped focusing on anything and everything and I just focused on the cell of like what do my cells need? What do they require? How can I give it to them every single day? How can I protect them? How can I give them nutrients? That is when my hormones changed. I'm like, how often do we hear things like eat enough protein? I was thinking about that on my drive today. Um, I, I was just going to the store and I was like, you know, I genuinely think that I could have been where I am now years ago if I just would have done the bait like done the things that i heard heard about a million times if i would have just eaten enough protein and i'd heard about that a million times but if i would have actually sat down and looked at my daily diet and am i eating enough protein if i would have actually done that years ago and actually you know what i mean like, i would always hear that i would always hear these things but then doing them was a different thing doing them was a different thing but then also i didn't know anything about blood chemistry and i had never like i don't even know i would just a doctor would like run a random blood panel and i wouldn't even know what the markers they were running and i just had no idea like i didn't know what was going on and i was like okay and just kind of just did whatever they said but even looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've learned so much about blood chemistry. I was even talking to my sister. I feel like it's just so chatty right now, oh my gosh. But I was even talking to my sister, Grace, about that. And I was just saying like, are you, she was had some questions and was kind of filling certain things. And I was like, are you getting daily B vitamins? Like, are you getting in daily B vitamins? And you know how much, you know how I, I they're actually out. I'm actually out of my, well, the one time. I'm out of my bee pollen right now because they're actually like literally sold out. That is one of those just daily essentials. Obviously you don't have to do bee pollen, but just B vitamins in general. I like bee pollen because it's bioavailable whole food form. Very easily absorbable. All that to say is there's just basic things that we need to do every single day. And when we do them day in and day out and we do the mundane and we do it over and over and over and over, and we just commit to it and we stick to it. 
and we and we develop the habits. That's the hardest thing is developing the habits, but when you develop the habits, everything changes. I've been really deeply, I need to bring the podcast back, which I am gonna do that. I'm working on so many things. I have been doing so much behind the scenes, so I feel like kind of forgive me for maybe not being like super. I always love creating videos, like not just sharing my life, but really sharing like beautiful moments and like, going to the beach and having our beach walk and like baking and doing all that kind of stuff, you know? But I'm in a season and if I could ever speak to this even too, especially after writing Milk and Honey, there are certain seasons of your life where it's just a season and you just enjoy it and and I, like you just embrace it. And I feel I feel that way so deeply in my heart and and just my soul and my and my body and everything, like in just who I am that this is a season where I am working on, I'm just gonna share with you what I'm working on because I've already told, told you about it. So the first thing is the blood chemistry, like it's not a course, it is truly a program, but basically it is going to help you figure out what your cells need, what your cells need. That is the most important thing because everybody is different and everybody's, again, we all have fundamental things, but everybody's cells are different. Maybe like me, you were exposed to mold. Maybe you weren't, you know what I mean? So like everybody's going to have a different cell story. That is the first thing that I'm working on. And then the second thing is I announced in my email list. If you're not subscribed to the emails, I will leave a link in the description box. I announced in there that I am officially, you have asked me for this for so very long, but it's not only a cookbook, but it is, it's, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's better than that. It's not gonna be a hard copy. I'll get into all the details later, but I am working on it. I am working on a place where all of my favorite recipes are in one place that you will have, like it is it is better. It is better than you can imagine. I'm gonna drop more details as we get closer. I'm gonna be utilizing it all the time. It's incredible. That's the second thing. And then the third thing is, oh, there's a third thing that I, I am gonna keep out a secret. I'm gonna keep it a total secret. It is finally in the baby, baby early beginning stages of being in the works. The wheels are turning on it. So if that happens, that is gonna be a dream come true. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be so exciting. And then number four is I am, and I know I've said this before, but I am gonna bring back the podcast. And that's the thing is that I've just, I've just had to surrender into the season of life. And even this year has been so healing to me just to hike and explore and adventure and be in nature and just enjoy God's world. Do I really do my best to embody and practice what I preach. And I, I really do. And so I'm not perfect at it. I really leaned into that and really leaned into fun and spontaneity and adventure. And I think that's what summer is kind of all about. So it feels right. It feels in season. Enjoy summer, go out with a bang travel a little bit more, have some fun, work on the meal guide, continue to work on the program, and then um, basically, and then the little secret baby project in the works, not baby, not like baby project, but like, um, but even that, I need to chat with you about that. But okay, maybe we should chat about that for a second with when it comes to future babies, because now even seeing my progesterone, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm at a 9.6. <laughs> I told my friend, I called her the other day, and she's like, are you gonna start trying? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. I would really like to get like a few solid cycles, a few like three would be great of really seeing that number like consistently strong month after month after month and really it, the health of that, the health of the egg and my egg quality over those few months, really having my body being producing that much progesterone month after month is personally what I really really would like to do so that's what i feel comfortable with then we will feel ready to enter in that new season of really trying to conceive again and so i've never done that i haven't i have not tried to conceive since i miscarried which is so crazy to think about that it'll be two ugh, it's so insane it'll be literally two years this november so a little bit further further out still but I just knowing my body and I, and I'm thankful. I'm really thankful that I have, it, it's been, it hasn't been easy to wait, but I am thankful, um, that I have. And it's been, you know, it's hard to be patient sometimes it's, there's a lot of it's, it, you know, we have to endure. I was even reading that this morning in Timothy that 
just enduring suffering and, and, and having patience. And it's, it's so important and it's hard, but it's so important. And I'm really thankful that I have done that because it's so incredibly, um, exciting and rewarding. And just, I feel so thankful. I feel so thankful above all else that to see that number. And, you know, so many times I have said, you know, just don't give up, don't give up. You know, we will reap a harvest if we don't give up Galatians six, nine. And I just, there's so many times that I've wanted to give up, you know what I mean? And I just, and I, I, I say it to myself and I say it to you, you know, don't give up. I know, I know how long it can feel sometimes. And so I just hope that no matter how long it takes, that the main thing is that I just hope that you never, ever give up. And I hope that you always have hope. And I really do believe that with God, that there is always hope. And so that's kind of the update as far as, you know, trying to conceive again. I'd really like to get a few cycles of seeing such a strong number and maybe even get to a 12. I'd love to get to a 12, like 11, 12 of progesterone. I just would really, really, that would be so awesome to see. So that's kind of, that's kind of the update. Have a few cycles with that and then still waiting on my clotting factors test to come back and see what those results say because then if they do come back then i will talk to find a doctor who is going to be able to help me with that whether i do have to be like on actual blood thinner during pregnancy because when you become pregnant then it intensifies that's why it's so important with clotting factors so we will see what those results come back i will share those results with you and let you know so if i do end up having to be on a blood thinner i think it's really amazing i i think that like western and and you know just like more natural holistic medicine i think they can really marry together really nicely and i loved hanging out with you today i can't wait to see you in my next video and just continue to enjoy this summer together i'm doing a little sneaky comment giveaway so you can check the comments to see how you can enter that and don't forget you can go to drinkelement.com cambria there is one thing that you can do for your cells is give them sodium potassium and magnesium that's all i gotta say and throw in that vitamin C because it is amazing for your body. Okay, I love you. <laughs> Good night.